Being from a humble background, Ray always had that spirit to contribute to society. He never missed on any opportunity wherein the welfare of citizens was his priority. Even as the owner of the various industries, he never took any salary and distributed all his part among the workers. It was a tradition in colleges that before the professor came to take the class, a clerk would come in and clean the blackboard, table and put in all the teaching materials. One day, a clerk came in wearing a coat and did all the course. After some time, Professor Ray entered the room to take the class and to everyone's surprise, he was also wearing the same coat as was the clerk. After the class got over, the students in their eagerness tried to get the reason and it was revealed that Professor Ray had gone to purchase woolen clothes for himself but during the purchase he realized that the clerk from the college would also need it and so he thought to buy two sets of clothes and got two suits stitched for both of them. In 1916, he joined as Pallet Professor in Calcutta University and from 1921 onwards, he stopped accepting salary and requested the university to spend the money on development of the chemistry department. For the last 20 years of his life, he lived in a room of the university building. He even considered ceiling fans as an element of luxury. This room now houses the PC Ray Museum. Many students, mainly the poor, lived with him. In 1922, he made an endowment of rupees 10,000 for an annual prize in chemistry named after the great Indian scientist Nagarjuna. In 1936, he made another endowment named after Professor Ashutosh Mukherjee. He donated rupees 1,80,000 to Calcutta University for the extension and development of chemistry at the time of his retirement. In 1921, during the famine of Khulna, he created Khulna Relief Committee to feed the poor people affected by famine. During 1922 and 23, when frequent floods affected North Bengal, he, along with Subhash Chandra Bose, rushed to the affected areas and set up Bengal Relief Committee. In 1931, flood struck again North Bengal and Prafulla at the age of 70 made Sankar Taran Samiti to provide relief to the affected people. In 